Did you know there's a name for those lines you've been drawing all your life? The line that moves along the outside edge of something is called the contour line. Con means width, and tour means to turn or curve. So a contour line is one that follows the curve. Sometimes when we say the contour of something, we mean only the outline, as if we were tracing only the outside edge of a subject. Imagine you only saw the shadow of something. You could only draw the borders of it. This is called the object's silhouette. It is a contour line, but it also ignores many of the subject's other edges and forms. If we follow all the major forms and edges, we get a more complete drawing of the subject. This simple way of drawing is found in mankind's earliest artwork. These animals were painted onto the walls of caves in Europe many thousands of years ago. These caveman drawings make excellent use of contour lines to accurately depict horses, deer, bison, and other animals. These strong lines tell us much about their primitive lives. We also see contour lines in cartoons. Benjamin Franklin, one of America's founding fathers, published this cartoon in 1754, depicting a snake severed into pieces that symbolized the American colonies. This is considered to be the very first political cartoon. The simplicity of the cartoon was used to make a complicated argument much easier to understand. As the newspaper industry grew in the late 19th and 20th centuries, cartoons became a common form of entertainment. Once again, these simple contour lines made a powerful impact on society. Many were cute and funny, but others were serious and dramatic. Some of the serious ones turned into comic books and then evolved into the superheroes we know today. Usually, artists will draw with pencil first and add the ink lines later in a process that we call inking. But not this man. This is Kim Jong-gi. He is a famous artist from South Korea who draws beautiful art using only ink. His work is remarkable because he doesn't do a sketch first. He sees it all in his mind, much like our ancient ancestors did. There are many ways to create art, but perhaps none so powerful and so ancient as the simple contour line.